I feel like I'm by myself. And now I'm in the valley, y'all. do with it y'all this girl such a craziness i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video now i didn't know we was gonna get back on escape and they drama but baby we getting back on escape and they drama now news done came out that latasha scott is accusing her fellow bandmates her group mates of trademark infringement and i'm like wait don't you and your um sister own the name but child, when I first heard about this, it was on House of Aaron. So shouts out to you, brother. He had talked about it on his channel. He didn't really have any proof. But he said, you know, somebody done told him word around town. Latasha, you know, she's trying to see some legal action. Check this out. Dollars is missing. The money from the kickbacks are missing. And oh, Latasha Scott is missing too. Latasha Scott. Is not going on tour. But y'all, my friend told me, you didn't hear from me, that Latasha Scott is suing. What is going on? And that she apparently, allegedly didn't know anything about uh this tour. <laughs> All right, wait. I don't know if the lady gonna sue. However, I heard she might send out a cease and desist. So I want to make that clear. I don't know if she's suing, but I hear there's a cease and desist. That she didn't know anything about this tour. And that y'all know she owns the name. I think it's Latasha and Tamika Scott, the sisters. They own the name. And so maybe she's going to be suing on the basis of they're using my name without my knowledge. But my thing is this. You ain't been with these ladies doing no tours, no shows for a good minute. And now when word around town is going on tour, SWV... Oh, I need to be a part. We all know that your gospel album didn't do how you wanted it to do. And that was because of what you showed us on the actual show and how you did your sister. Have you still not paid her her 30K plus interest? Because, I mean, every day, how the government be doing it, we got interest. It's, it's collecting. It's accumulating. Have you paid her her funds back? Hell no! Allegedly, I strongly doubt you did. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. So let's take it back to March 14th of this year. Now, Jasmine Brand, she had came out saying that exclusive SWV and Escape's Bravo reality show renewed for season two. And I was like, oh, shh, we about to get the tables a turning, okay? But then I thought about it. Y'all ladies didn't really end off on a good note. Because, baby, when it went to social media, Lily was in her comments on Twitter. Then we had Tiny talking her stuff, baby. It was a whole lot, a whole lot of. So, I was, you know, under pressure. Y'all wasn't definitely coming back to do no show, let alone a tour. Especially when y'all was fussing about who was going to go first, who was going to go last. We need the headline now. We need the headline. We sold these many albums, records. Y'all just... Uh, child it was a lot and then the whole thing with Latisha, latasha and um her sister tamika and that whole mess with the family drama i just knew it probably wasn't gonna be a season two but hey people love the drama they like all the chaos and stuff like that especially when it's not their drama and baby y'all had a lot of it but according to things now that's not the case so Lily had gotten the comments and she had to check a chick, okay? She says, where is this coming from? This is not true at all. Please check with reliable sources. I'm sorry, you were misinformed. And then, I don't know what, Don Juan coming in the mix talking about they wrong. And I'm like, PR team, PR team, where you at? Then news of the tour dropped on Monday when Sherry Shepard talked about it on her talk show. But that came after a video that went viral that showed the ladies in therapy. And, you know, Mona, she was the therapist or whatever. And then it goes to the tour dates and that they're going to be going on tour with Maya Total 702. And I'm like, okay, I'm here for this. I'm here for this. So basically the other ladies, the other groups are their supporting acts. But guess who wasn't in the video? You got it right. Miss Latasha Scott. But baby, remember, you want to be solo. You want to do your own thing. You want to spread your wings and fly. Okay? But yeah, child. So this is where 
this infringement trademark thing coming along so i hope i caught y'all all the way up okay so let's get into what straight from the a now like i said house of aaron when i first heard about it he had talked about it but then uh straight from the a michelle she had came out with some proof now showing that latasha is seeking legal action now according to michelle from straight from the a another day another escape battle it's only been a week since the 90s girl group which consists of latasha tiny tamika and candy officially announced that they were headed on a nationwide tour co-headlining with swv mm -hmm. fans of the popular girl group were left wondering why only three members appear in the promo and perhaps Latasha's attorney letters can provide some clarity. Now, Latasha Scott, through her attorney, Leron Rogers, is claiming that Live Nation, Mona Scott Young's entertainment group are interfering with her rights as one half of the trademark owner of the Escape brand. The letter notes that Scott was completely completely blindsided by the news that escape had signed a contract for a nationwide tour without her now are we forgetting how you know we all sat down at the studio and they had to confront you about you know taking money or paying people money that they weren't really supposed to be getting paid and you know once again we back on this thirty thousand dollars plus interest that have yet to probably hit tamika's account but you feel blindsided. Mm. All right, let's move on with the T. Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, contracted with individuals and is publicly advertising the Escape Mark to promote a live musical performance for a series of concerts during the Queens of R&B tour without Latasha's consent. In addition to failing to obtain consent, you have also failed to even reach out to Latasha. Well, maybe they did and you just didn't pick up the phone, but we ain't going to go there. You have also failed to reach out to Latasha to agree on financial terms for use of Mark, as well as to discuss her performance. Girl, nobody, not you want to discuss financial terms and discuss you not performing. But have you been performing with the ladies thus far? I'm <coughs> child, you can't make this shit up with this lady. She further notes that Mona Scott Young is totally in on it, being that she, of all people, was well aware of the trademark situation, being that Latasha had to agree to it in the past, you know, because she was on that show. Also being as though Mona Scott Young also served as Escape's management in the past, Latasha feels the slight was intentional. Latasha's attorneys are asking that Mona Scott and Mon Monema Entertainment contact them within five days to secure the proper licensing for use of the trademark. A.K. cut that check, bring me my money. I want all of my coins. For the record, the trademark was secured by Latasha and her sister Tamika Scott during the time period that Candy Burris was adamant about not rejoining the group. Okay, so that's where Candy then, okay, got you. Since that time, a whole lot has happened. Uh, it has. However, it's been clear throughout the drama it was never Latasha's intention to leave the group, only to take a break to pursue other interests, which flopped. On, <laughs> let me stop. On a related note, Latasha also sent a similar letter to Live Nation stating, Latasha was surprised to learn that Live Nation, whom Escape has contracted to perform on numerous occasions, contracted with individuals and is publicly advertising the Escape mark to promote a live musical performance at Lovers and Friends May 4th, 2024 festival in Las Vegas without latasha's consent in addition to failing to obtain consent you have also failed to even reach out to latasha to agree on financial terms for use of the mark as well as to discuss her performance you know what it never was that serious it was never that serious
baby 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 so you know the word around town has been going on in the blogs and on social media so miss tiny harris got in the comment section okay and she said i'm sorry but sis ain't stopping shit respectfully hashtag queens of rmp tour gonna be lit and right there we gonna stop it right there y'all tell me y'all thoughts in the comment section below honey and i see you on the next one Ooh, child